The technology of wireless power transmission is not without precedent. Significant demonstrations and verifications of electric power transfer efficiency and high power delivery at long range have been accomplished by NASA. The most dramatic of these was the NASA JPL Goldstone demonstration conducted in 1975 in which 34,000 watts of power was safely transmitted over 1.5 kilometers at an efficiency of greater than 82 percent. It was then and remains today what can be called the world record for high power long distance wireless power transmission. The NASA JPL Venus Station 26 meter antenna with its 500,000 watt transmitter was used to perform a 1.54 kilometer wireless power transmission to a rectenna array located on the Goldstone site's collimation tower. 4,590 rectenna elements with high efficiency gallium arsenide diodes were fabricated at the Raytheon microwave and power tube lab and assembled in rectenna subarrays of about one meter square. From each DC output of the 17 subarrays, approximately one third of the power was routed to a pair of 300 watt lamps. The lamps were arranged in the geometry of the rectenna array and wired to corresponding positions such that illumination of the lights would represent the received power beam at the rectenna. Of the calibrated RF power flux density that fell on the 24 square meter rectenna array on June 5, 1975, 82.5% was collected and converted to direct current output. It can be seen from the results of the successful 54% end-to-end -end laboratory demonstration of wireless power transmission and the successful test at Goldstone of sending 34 kilowatts at a mile range that we can confidently predict the performance of a wireless power transmission system, whether it be direct or laser or microwave or with relays. And this technology should help NASA have successful missions in the future.